Okay. So we, we're making a wormery today. You can see this is going to be our catchment for uh, the fluid that the worms are going to make. It's going to be fantastic for our vegetable garden. We're going to still just put a tap in at the bottom. The next bucket that's coming in is full of holes for the seepage. So uh, it's going to be easy for the juice to flow to the bottom. You can see that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. There's a gap between the two where it can go into. Then we're going to take a little bit of wire sift draught, we say in Afrikaans. Put it down. That's just to catch any of the solids so that it doesn't go down there. And then we're going to begin with the bedding for the worms. So what we'll use is wet cardboard. They love cardboard. So we start with the bedding at the bottom. Lots of bedding. They will eat the cardboard. Make a nice home for the worms. nice and wet to give them a good start. Okay. These are called red wrigglers. They're special worms. They are used in vermiculture. They uh, will eat all your garden refuse out your kitchen and will make this fantastic compost. So, before we put them in, take some of their own, this is their own compost that they had and we'll just make something of a, a home, something that they're used to first. You can just see the type of compost that they make, it's fantastic. Okay. Okay, now it's the worms. One or two that must go in. Give them some more compost. Spread them around nice and evenly. Some more wet cardboard. Make them feel at home. You can use newspaper, it's also very good for them. So we are using lettuce, we break the lettuce just a little bit. What's going to happen is, when they're nice and comfortable, they move, start moving to the top. And they'll start eating it. And as it decomposes a bit, they will continue to eat it so while we're doing this just as a start making life nice and easy for them just mix it a bit easy as that one two three and then you see the next one that will later on will come on top has also got holes in it so it will be placed over it as it fills up and that will mean the worms will move from the bottom bedding through into where you're putting your next loads of perishables that are coming out the kitchen. So next time you're getting the opportunity to get your hands on some worms, get your worms, start a wormery. It's easy as one, two, three. And all we're going to do, put a lid on top of it. Nothing can get in. We're going to punch some holes on the side for aeration. And that's your wormery.